Hey guys, welcome. This is our probability review video, first one. Um, so let's do a couple problems. Uh, I highly recommend that you try them first. So write them down, try them, um, and then we'll see what's going on. All right, number one. What is the probability of drawing a 10 or a heart from a deck of cards? Well, first keyword is or. Or means to add, okay? So we gotta think about a deck of cards. And if you guys know about a deck of cards, Let's go ahead and review that real quick. Um, we have 52 cards, 13 are hearts, and there's one 10 for each club, or sorry, one for each uh, of these. So this is actually kind of a difficult question. So let's just take a look at the probability of this guy first. So how many 10s are in a deck of cards? Well, there's a 10 of spades, 10 of clubs, 10 of diamonds, 10 of hearts. So we have four out of 52 cards are 10s, plus how many hearts do we have? Well, we have 13 hearts, okay? However, if we add these, our answer is incorrect. And the reason why is because we double counted a card. If you guys knew this, there is actually a 10 of hearts card, which means we counted it once here, and we also counted it once there. It got counted within the tens, and it also got counted in the hearts. So to remedy this, we're gonna have to subtract one of those cards so we don't double count it. Um, so you could do the subtraction method, or we could just say instead of 13 hearts, there's really only 12 hearts available. Uh, either one of those would work, but we end up with 16 out of 52 cards for our final answer. So that's a pretty tricky question right there. Again, common sense and precision is how we do a lot of probability questions. All right, number two, a dice is rolled, then a, is, a coin is tossed. What's the probability of getting a six, then heads? Well, there's two events occurring, so I like to give two spots. Um, what's the probability of getting a six? Well, that would be one out of six times the probability of getting a heads, one out of two. We multiply those together, we get one out of 12. So this is a compound, uh, compound any, uh, probability. And what we know is they're independent of one another, so it doesn't affect one or the other. Number three, Mr. Smith guesses on a true or false test with five questions. What's the probability he got 100%? Hmm, okay, well, this is a very interesting question. We got five questions. Well, any problem, if he just guesses, it's true or false, when one is right, one is wrong, he has a one out of two chance of getting it correct. And that's true for every problem. Just because he got one before, it doesn't change his results from the other one. So all we really have to do is multiply because these are independent events, they don't change. So we eventually end up with one half to the fifth power. Okay, well one to the fifth power is one and two to the fifth power, we got two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16, times two is 32. All right, four is two parts, and this is our last question, so nice easy video today. Hopefully you're pausing it, trying yourself out. A bag contains 40 lightsabers, eight are red, 10 are green, 12 are blue, and 10 are purple, and let's try A. Probability I get a green, then a purple, with replacement. So there are 10 out of 40 green, then I'm gonna grab a purple. I put it back so I still have 40 and there is 10 purple. So again, we're gonna use our calculator here. Uh, 10 times 10, which we could have done in our head, I'm sure. And 40 times 40, which we could have even done that in our head. And if we actually reduce this, the zeros will reduce out to one over 16. All right, what about not replacing? So if I don't put it back, well, the probability of the green actually stays the same, but now I throw out a lightsaber. Now there's only 39 available, and I threw out the green one because that's the first one I grabbed, so I only have nine greens left. So we're gonna get 90 on the top, that one I can do in my head, 
And 40 times 39 is going to give us 1560. Let's go ahead and recall how to use our calculator to reduce. So we're going to get 90. We hit this A, B, C button. And 1560. And we get 352, or 3 over 52 as our final answer. All right, guys, uh, if you got all four of those questions right on your own, you're probably sitting pretty good. Uh, again, number one was pretty tricky, uh, but we'll spend some more time for sure, and we'll probably do pretty well if we keep focused and remember two things, okay, two things. And the number one is precision, and number two is common sense. All right, guys, we'll see you later.